How are we doing? Good morning. This is uh, this is a cold start to the day for sure. I'm meteorologist Trent McGill and uh, we're live on Facebook. We're live on news5.com. We're live on uh, uh, Roku devices. We're live essentially anywhere. Um, anywhere you can find us. We're going to be live right now except for on TV. Good Morning America uh, is on right now. So for the next five or ten minutes, I'm actually going to roll through our forecast for the day today. If you missed Good Morning Cleveland, we're going to we're going to catch you up. I mean, it's it's cold outside. I want to start it off with uh, essentially what we have going on. We've got temperatures dropping below zero this morning. Some spots have already dropped below zero. The lucky few are still at about two or three degrees, which I'll show you in a second here. Just know that that wind chill warning, the first one we've had since February 2015. It's been four years since we've had a wind chill warning, meaning wind chills haven't got as cold as they're going to get or are right now. Winds are gusting west southwest. 20 to 30 miles per hour right now sustained 10 to 15 20 25. I mean, it is a windy start to the day. Plus, we're talking about the cold outside that makes it feel even worse. Now the wind chill it, what that means is it's a, it's an equation. Essentially, it's derived and it has to do with the temperature and the wind and it's what happens to your skin. Any exposed skin. That's what we're talking about. If you're outside and your cheeks aren't covered up, your ears aren't covered up, you're not wearing gloves for some odd reason. Um, that's what we're talking about. The whole frostbite setting in in 10 to 15 minutes when we can get those wind chills, you know, 25, 30, 35 degrees below zero. That's when we have those uh, those concerns. I want to pull up your current temperatures this morning. Uh, right now, it looks like most of us are uh, either at or below zero. And we'll get these updated as we get closer to sunrise. And I, th I think a lot of spots are going to be near that zero mark, if not below. Millersburg still holding on to one degree. Akron, Cleveland, the same. Ravenna, you're at minus one, uh, minus four. Norwalk, Fremont, minus four degrees also. So it's cold. And if you're below zero, you're likely um, not going to be getting back above zero until probably Thursday late morning, maybe by midday. So that's going to put us at, at at least 24 hours, potentially 27, 28, maybe 29 hours below zero, which would put us if we hit 27, that would tie us for a top five stretch and that would uh, that, that would break a, a record. Um, as far as your wind chills, let's see if I can pull this up for you uh, outside right now. Wind chills when you factor in the wind, it's already man alive. Look at Fremont minus 32. Uh, minus 32 is what it feels like in Sandusky also minus 25 in Mansfield. So I know we, we've had temperatures that have been cold. We've had wind chills that have been cold, but we all have always rebounded, you know, within the next few hours. We're not going to do that today. So wind chill is going to become a concern and the duration of this is a, is a concern as well. So wind chills right now in Akron 19 below zero 22 in Cleveland, even though temperatures are above zero right at about one or two degrees, it's going to stay on the cold side. Um, let's see if I can pull up the uh, here we go. I want to pull up your future cast for the day today just to show you what we have going on. It looks like temperatures will try to warm back up a bit with some sunshine through the afternoon. If Cleveland hits zero, I would be surprised. Maybe minus one right real close to that. So likely going to stay below zero through the day today into the evening hours. This is midnight tonight. We're looking at Temperatures five, six, seven degrees below zero through tomorrow morning. It's right around there, five to ten below zero because we're going to clear it out and the winds are going to try to back off a little bit. That's the good news. For one, less wind means the wind chill is not as big of a concern. The, the other side of that is less wind, there's less mixing, and that colder air does start to settle. So kind of got to take the goods with the bad on the, on the lighter winds overnight tonight. Winds really do back off tomorrow. And that's going to help us rebound with some sunshine. How about six degrees by two o'clock? So it looks like it's going to be a cold day today, a cold day tomorrow as well. And then we're going to shift our focus over to snow. Snow coming in for your Friday. Outside right now, though, it's all cold. We're not even talking about how uh, the snow in the forecast is all about the chill. So here it is. Here's your seven day forecast. Minus one today, five tomorrow. We're looking at 22 on Friday with that shot at maybe one to three inches. Still don't think it's going to be a big snowmaker that may miss us to the south. So it's something to definitely keep an eye on. But check out your weekend 38 Saturday, 45 on Sunday. That's going to be great. There's going to be a lot of people washing cars this weekend, getting all that salt off. It uh, looks like just rain Monday and Tuesday. It could be some heavy rain at times also. Get a little bit of a break from winter, but winter is not over. Uh, by any means at all. So it's, it's, it's staying cold. I want to show you this. Uh, I've got a graphic here if I can find it and it does a really good job of showing um, 
the wind chills throughout the day today. Let me get back to this really quickly. Here we go. This is 7 a.m. wind chills, so essentially now. Wind chills 15 to 30 degrees below zero. And we already know that, you know, Sandusky are at about 35, so it's already underestimating a little bit of this. So we'll go through the rest of the morning. Puts us at what, by 3 o'clock, still 20 to 25, probably realistically closer to 30 below zero. That's through the afternoon. So we typically warm it up a little bit. That's with some sunshine, but with the wind and this cold air, it's just not going to feel, it's just not going to feel uh, warm by any means. It'll look nicer, but man, is it going to be cold. Uh, 4 a.m. wind chills tomorrow morning, 20 to 30 below zero. That's with less wind. Temperatures are actually going to be colder, but with less wind, your wind chills are still about 20 to 30 below zero. Then I'm going to take you through the afternoon. There's those wind chills through the afternoon. Four o'clock tomorrow afternoon is when that wind chill warning expires, and that's when those numbers will finally get at least at least warmer than 10 below zero, which is still brutally cold. So if you're off school this morning, likely going to be off school tomorrow morning also, and then we're talking snow for your Friday. So percentages of, uh, of being off school, they're, they're relatively high the rest of the week. Friday, though, you're probably going to be getting back to school. And I don't think, think the snow is going to cause that much of a concern. Um, all right, so we've got a, uh, a little cut in on Good Morning America. Um, Sam or Ginger, I'm not sure if, if uh, Ginger's back just yet, but we're going to do a little cut in on that in a couple minutes here. I'm going to have to prepare for that, and then we've got a you know a full-blown news, traffic, and weather cut in coming up at about 726. So thank you very much for watching on Facebook, on Roku, on, on just about everywhere. Thank you for watching this right here. We're going to send you back to uh, just a, a regularly scheduled program, but in the meantime, flip on over to Good Morning America. We're not the only ones dealing with this cold blast. It is almost nationwide. Thanks, guys.